Hello to all of you. Well, it's Scott again. I'm coming live to you from India with this wealth insight. And I thought I would share with you today, I'm actually, believe it or not, at the Osho International Meditation Retreat. And why am I, why am I giving this as a wealth insight? Well, if you go back as far as 1937, there's a book called by Napoleon Hill, which ultimately is the most, it is the, the book that has helped more people become wealthy in the world than any other book written. Now, what is that book? Some people think that it's a religious book. Some people think that it you know, might be the Bible or the Quran or whatever. Well, it's not. It is Think and Grow Rich. And what's really interesting is that Napoleon Hill went out and he interviewed, in 1937, it took him 20 years, he interviewed 50 of the wealthiest people in the world and he looked for all the patterns. And so if you want to click on the link below, I'll actually send you a link where you can get that book for free. So there's no excuse not to read that book. I've read it at least six times. I've listened to the audio book about four times. And in fact, the last time I listened to it, I ran Comrades, which is an 89 kilometer race, about a 60 mile race. Uh, it took me 12 hours to run it and I listened to the entire thing. So why am I dressed in this very funny outfit? Well, and, and in this uh, almost uh, amazing uh, resort here in India. Well, the bottom line is, is that, you know, in the old days, it was, well, not in the old days, but basically when the book was written, it was all about the power of the mind and how important the power of the mind was and how that you create everything you want in your life through your mind. And, you know, my father taught me that you can have anything in life if you just put your mind to it. Um, you know, he also taught me that uh, dream big, people become what they dream. You know, I was brought up with this stuff my entire life and it's maybe why I've had such the privilege to live such an incredible uh, life so far. But one of the things that's become really a reality for me, you know, I study wealthy people and I've had the privilege of spending time with so many of them. You know, when I was on Necker Island with Richard Branson, we did a thing called a life hack. Now what a life hack is, is there were about 25 of us, including Richard Branson, of some of the most successful and wealthy people. And you've heard me say on other wealth insights, I always try and put myself in the room where I'm the dumbest, poorest person in the room. Well, that was certainly one of those times. But we did this thing called a life hack, which is where we, we literally went around the room and we found out the things that help people most, the easiest, simplest, quickest things that help people most to, to live a life of fulfillment and to get results. And whether that's money or relationships or anything, it's, it's ultimately all the things that, that make someone wealthy. Because wealthy is not just about money. Wealthy is a state of mind. Wealthy is a, an abundance feeling and being able to do anything you want in life. And what was really interesting is that, you know, what's come about over and over and over again over the last couple of years, or well, certainly the last decade for me, is meditation and mindfulness. And I'll be honest with you, I've tried to do this for a long time. I've, I've used uh, things like Headspace and, you know, but for me to literally meditate for 10 minutes is a hell of a long time. I'm, I'm terrible at it. And so I thought, well, once again, why not drop myself in the deep end? So Tony Robbins recommends this uh, meditation resort here in India. It's in Pune, India, and um, I've actually signed up for a 30 day course. So I'm literally here as my second day. Uh, we're doing about five and a half hours of meditation every single day. So you're looking at a man that can't meditate or keep still or silent for 10 minutes. And now I'm doing five and a half hours a day uh, on a 30 day retreat. And so that's me here coming live from the Osho International Meditation Resort. This Wealth Insight coming live from India about the power of the mind, the power of meditation and how you need to be in control of your mind. And maybe there's a couple of wealth insights today. Maybe it's reading the great book like Think and Grow Rich. Maybe it's the power of the mind and that you can create anything that you want in your life. Maybe it's about wealth and that wealth isn't it just about money, but it's the whole essence of your life, fulfillment. And maybe, you know, it's about meditation and mindfulness and, and how that is such a key to happiness, fulfillment, and ultimately even wealth and, and, and creating the life that you want. Or maybe it's learning from someone like myself that's prepared to literally do something that I'm really bad at, drop myself in the deep end so that I can get a master's and honors, a doctorate degree, whatever you want to call it, in meditation and mindfulness. And I'm hoping by the time I, uh, you know, in the, over the next four weeks, I really do find that, that inner peace and that ability to go deep because that's why I've dropped myself in the deep end. So this is a very long wealth insight coming from, uh, from India here. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you do, you know, I'm living in a, well, I'm staying in a country here with a billion people. Our aim is to empower a billion people. There's such poverty out there on the streets. Our aim is to solve that globally. And the only way we can do it is by sharing these wealth insights. And so please, do me a favor, share it with your friends. Let's empower a billion people. We can only do it together. Scott Pickin, signing out from India. Cheers.